Hey there and welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. My name is Andrew and in today's video we're doing a review of the Elgato HD 60 Plus Plus Capture Card. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's get to it. As I said, welcome to the show. My name is Andrew, and today we're talking about the Elgato HD60 S Plus Capture Card. So, as I've mentioned before in many of these product review videos, when it comes to content creator gear, if you're a subscriber, you already know, but for those of you who are new, I have been upgrading all of my gear over the past year. And one of the capabilities of upgrading is using a new DSLR mirrorless camera and attaching it direct to the computer to be able to get the video done instead of doing it onto an SD card to have to pull it out, put it in into an adapter, and then transfer the video from there. By using the Camlink 4K, it gives me the ability to have my camera hooked up. Myself, I got the HD60 S Plus to be able to have my camera and my PlayStation 4 hooked up at the same time to be able to do video capture of my gameplay to do live stream. Now, it is not strictly for gameplay. You can use the HD60 S Plus capture card to be able to do your video capture for a camera. Now, if you're doing a multi angle, for instance, if you have a Sony A6100 like I'm using now and a secondary A6100, or if you have two different cameras, whether it's an A6100 and a 6400 or an a 6600 or whatever it may be you need two capture cards and you cannot run two cam link 4k's at the same time so what you would have to do is get a cam link 4k for one camera and a hd 60s or an hd 60s plus to be able to run the second camera or other device that you plan to capture whether it's a PlayStation or an Xbox or another camera or another laptop, you would need a secondary capture card. And that's why I have the HD60 S Plus, because it gives you that high quality capture capability, not only for a second camera, but for another device. As I mentioned a moment ago, I'm using mine to be able to capture a PS4 for live stream gameplay. The PS4 already has the capability of recording directly on it. But if you want to live stream and be able to have your own camera on at the same time, you're going to need to have two capture cards. Now, yes, the PS4 does have the capability of streaming its gameplay, but that also requires that one, you have high quality internet. Two, if you're going to do gameplay, it's only going to give you that gameplay. It's not going to give you the video of you while you're streaming. If you want to stream and actually be on camera with your gameplay, this is the best option. Now I'm sure that the PlayStation camera, if hooked up, could possibly, possibly, I don't know for 100% fact, be set up in a way to be able to capture you and your gameplay, but by using vMix, Ecamm or OBS, it is a lot easier to hook up the two different capture cards in live stream that way. I myself do live streams on my main account that you're watching right now, which is Consult Blind Guy. I also have 
my oldest channel which has been more recently uploading of vinyl records and things like that for the native community and then i also have my own music channel for other creations that i make myself in which case here on youtube i don't really do the gameplay live stream i actually chose to do that on my facebook page as well as twitch so here in the near future i will be doing more live streams of gameplay on facebook and twitch on the other account when it comes to the cost it is a little bit expensive but as i said in my cam link for k video you get what you pay for you can go out and get a 15 or 20 dollar capture card but it is not guaranteed to work it may not want to connect it may not actually give you the high definition quality that you want like the hd 60s plus or the cam link 4k these have the capability of going up to 4k 30 frames per second now they are in the process of coming out with one to do 4k 60 frames per second but we'll see how that goes and how much it's going to cost but for the time being the cam link 4k or the hd 60s plus is the best route to go when it comes to the hd 60s plus it is not as small as the cam link 4k it is small but it's not that small the cam link is roughly the size of a thumb drive maybe just a little bit bigger for a usb flash drive then you have the hd 60s plus which is about the size of two of those thumb drives together it does have an hdmi in and out as well as a audio in and a usb out when it comes to the hd 60s plus unlike the cam link 4k this one actually does capture from an hd port it outputs to an hd port that way you can put it into your tv or whatever for your bypass and then the actual regular usb is how you would capture to your computer whether it's a laptop a desktop or a apple computer if i was to give this a rating between one and five stars or one to ten just like with the cam link 4k i give it a four and a half out of five or a nine out of ten simply because it does not have a 60 frames per second for 4k and it's a little bit on the expensive side other than that they are great devices and highly recommended whether by me or by other influencers within the content creator community it has plenty of use case scenarios and they are the top of the line currently there is nobody out there who can beat elgato when it comes to the cam link 4k or the hd 60 s plus with their capabilities you can buy something that is cheap and a knockoff of those but i will guarantee you right now that they are not going to give you the high quality capabilities that the elgato team has with their products and they're not guaranteed to work as well as the elgato products if you have any questions or comments by all means please feel free to drop them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible let me know do you have a 4k cam link or do you have an hd 60 s plus or are you considering getting one and what are the things that are a big factor for you when it comes to getting one or having one of these capture cards i hope you enjoyed today's video and found it 
helpful. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe so you can stay updated on the latest videos, live streams, and more. As I have been coming out with a lot of content creator gear and some general products as well. You can also check out one of these videos over here as one of them may actually interest you as well. As I said, it could be anything from content creation gear to general products or maybe you're in the low vision and blind community in which case I also have products for you that come out every first Thursday of the month. Until the next time, I hope you have a great day or evening, depending on where you are in the world, and we'll see you in the next episode.